Today we are with one of my favorite principals in Newport News Public Schools. We are with Ms. Shamika Jarrell, and she is principal of Heritage High School in my district. And um, just wanted to come and um, talk with her for International Women's Day because we don't have to go far outside of the 95th district to see women who are making an impact in our community. So thank you for taking time out of your busy day today. Thank you for coming. I appreciate <laughs> it. I really do. No problem. I'm flattered. So, <laughs> yes, yes. So you, um, how long have you been at Heritage High School as principal? This is my third year as Her at Heritage as principal. I was at Denby for four years prior to that, and prior to that, I worked in Norfolk Public Schools okay. for seven years. So how has it been at Heritage? I, it is absolutely the best job I've ever had. I love the students. I love the community support. I really love the sense of family. We hashtag 5800 family. That is our thing that we go by. Um, so I have had some experiences in education and nothing compares to what I see every day with our kids That's at Heritage. Awesome. Well, I have definitely seen her in action and I concur that Heritage is an amazing school. I've loved our partnerships that we've had and that some of the students that have been in my programs and just very, very important at the amount of knowledge and love that you guys really infuse into their lives so as your representative I say thank you um, so in your in your track for um, for education is there anything that you would have said that you would have wished that you knew before you got into administration as a woman in um, administration? I honestly cannot say there is anything I wish I would have known. I had some really great role models to follow in educational leadership um, my first principalship uh, my first job as a teacher was under Miss Cynthia James Watson at Booker T. Washington in Norfolk, yeah. who was an African-American female and a legend in Norfolk Public Schools. Absolutely. And she came over and worked in Newport News Public Schools for a short. She was actually my principal when I worked at Denby as an assistant right. principal for right. instruction. She um, so she really did a good job of making sure that I was exposed to everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly in leadership. And she still works with me to this day on, on my toughest days. I know that if I picked up the phone, I called her, she would be there for me. Great. Um, also, one of the assistant principals that I worked with there, Margie Stallings, who is now the current principal at Booker great, T, great. Um, is one of my mentors as well. And I, one of my close friends. So, I know that I have a good circle of people, but they've really prepared me for this step. So I, I don't feel shocked or surprised by a lot of things that I see okay. because I've been brought up, for lack of a better word, right. with good leadership models to so follow. So how, how important is it for you then to continue that cycle and then be a role model for others as, as you had great role models? Um, I, it is my number one priority. My job as a school leader is to grow the next batch of leaders from students to adults that I reach every day. So it, it is my number one job to ensure that the education is what it needs to be to empower that next group of young females that are gonna come out and lead. Um, we have some great student leaders in our building. Shout out to Lakiva, Leah, all of my girls. If I forgot your name, it's because I love you. I know you're saying. <laughs> I'm forgetful. But we have some great female leaders in our building already. And to continue to show them through my example of leadership, even through the difficult times, and share my experiences with them um, and just being very transparent so that they know what to expect. So right. that's my job is to make sure I take that responsibility very seriously to make sure the next step the next group is there because if I leave tomorrow something happens I disappear off the face of the earth who is going to step up and be the next leader right that's so important so then as a woman and thinking about some of the challenges that come along what would you say to young women that may be thinking about administration but might be trying to shy away from it from you know messages that say we aren't strong enough or we aren't prepared for some of these jobs that men have led for so long would you have any words of inspiration for them on why they should get involved or why they should go into administration um, the thing that comes to my mind is the conversations I had with my mother um, while she was not in education, she was a computer engineer for space and naval warfare. So I'm a long way from where she even was. It definitely comes to mind is that you just got to pull your pants up and get it done. Um, and she says, put your big girl panties on and do the work. <laughs> but, you know, thanks, mom. Um, <laughs> but that really is what it is. It's, you can't shy away from it. You have to take the big step. You have to be willing to take the risk. You have to be in a position of being uncomfortable to grow because you're not going to grow unless you're willing to take that step. And then having the background knowledge of knowing that somebody's there to catch you if you're teetering a little bit because 
some of those intimidating situations, you need a girlfriend to call me like, hey, I'm getting ready to go into this meeting and I'm nervous. And they can say, you, you got, got it. it. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need is like Absolutely. a high five from your girlfriend. You'd be like, okay, I got this. Absolutely. So. That's correct. And in the grand tradition of women, we um, we do have that village mindset, mm -hmm. right? So is there anything that you would say to your village or your community? What can we do to support the wonderful things that are going on at Heritage? Um, to our village, the only thing that I can ask that you do is continue to share the narrative that we have of success. I know that there are a lot of negative things going on in the community or what people's perception are of our school, but you have to be the one that shares the narrative. And so we put stuff on social media, we put stuff out on our website, we have our online school newspaper, first school in the division to have a digital school newspaper. Um, take those messages that we have and share them out. Right. Um, we have community breakfasts, breakfasts for our community members when they come in just to demonstrate the great things. We have a couple of projects that are coming up that are working out to push out into the community more. So continue to share the positive things that are going on. And if there's something that you're not happy with, the door is always open. You can come to us and let us know and we'll work collaboratively with you to try to fix those things. So definitely today we could not do a day without a woman without talking with Ms. Shamika Gerald from Heritage High School. We just say thank you for everything that you're doing because you're impacting our future you're impacting our city our lives um, our future workers our future leaders all of that good stuff um, so we didn't go on strike today because we can't um, but we are celebrating the women that are working hard and for education we just thank Miss Gerald so stay tuned and we'll be at the next stop soon